Hello guys, welcome to all lesson number 10. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to change the background in Photoshop. Cutting out your photo is kind of easy, but merging it with the background and with a realistic effect, that is very difficult. So I'll just show you in this tutorial how to do that process with my personal tips and tricks which I'm using in the photo or during the process of editing. So let's get started guys. Hello everyone, welcome to our 10th lesson of you know adding a background to the photograph or changing a background of, from our photo, right? This is our second week which we are gonna learn to how to change the background. So the very first thing we are gonna do is select the subject which we have already you know learned in the previous lesson that how to select the model or select the photograph or the model image or a subject layer from the photo, right? So the next thing here we are gonna do is first of all let's select the photo I have just used the select and subject uh, you know, option if you are using Photoshop CC <coughs> So it will automatically select and uh, automatically create an amazing you know precise selection So the next thing here we are going to do is changing a background right So the very first thing we are gonna do is first of all let's select the photo perfectly Now as you can see this is perfectly selected now here we are going to change the background so what we're gonna do is first of all just right click on it and select a layer copy so we will make a duplication of the image right now we're gonna add a background to the photograph so let's just go to the file click on open and let's just browse the background so this is the background file which I want to add to that photo right so what I'm gonna do is just press ctrl a from the keyboard to select all ctrl c from the keyboard or command c from the you know, keyboard to copy now just go to this tab where we want to paste that background so I, I want to place this below my model layer right if I would just paste but then it will just press by ctrl V so it will paste the image but as you can see here the layer background is about the subjects or the model layer so what we gonna do is just drag and place this below this model layer so that we can you know it should be below that subjects layer right so here <coughs> I want to increase the size of the image so what I'm gonna do is just go to the edit select the free transform or directly press ctrl T from the keyboard and just press shift and alt key from the keyboard to enlarge it right to enlarge the image you have to place this so as you can see I have pasted this image and this one is looking very very cool so we have changed the background so the next thing we are going to do is adding uh, you know uh, shadows and all we will learn in another photo or the concept now here guys one more thing I want to do is just double click on it and make a layer now let's duplicate this layer that is the original layer now what we are going to do is we are taking these shadows or this subject from the original image to our desired background change image so what we gonna do is just add a layer mask on this or you can use the eraser tool also now here we have added a layer mask select the brush tool and make sure you selected the black color on the foreground right now increase the size and make sure you have selected the soft round brush don't select the hard round brush select the soft round brush make the opacity to 100% everything now we are gonna just increase the size of the brush now just delete or erase the thing just in the way that it may look or kind of look kind of merge way just like this way. as you can see this one is looking kind of original but here we can all we can we can redo the process how just you know just toggle up between the black and white now select the white to delete that so what we gonna do is increase the size of the brush and just give a one stroke don't add too much just a one stroke also the one stroke a little bit so that you can get the perfect gradiented effect of this you know foreground or the background original layer so as you can see we have blended perfectly this models you know that uh, thing what is it the legs of the model or shoes with the original layer 
now here we are going to adjust the whole thing so how we gonna adjust the now we gonna adjust the color effect of the image so just go to the levels select curves sorry you can add a curves to the photo let's just increase the matte kind of effect to the photograph let's select the blue tone and we're gonna just increase it the blue color and let's decrease the color from here and make a cross cross look as you can see this one is looking kind of very cool and it has been merged with the background so this is the very important thing which you need to understand and here you can still make more adjustment with the help of you know selective colors or you can add any kind of you know color look up to the image let's add a kind of preset these are the you know color look up which i have already made so you can directly apply and just stand out from the image stand out from the you know kind of normal photo so as you can see this one is literally looking so cool guys here is the before and here is the after so this one we have actually merged and it is looking kind of very creative and a balanced photo right so this is how we have to can change the background in photoshop so i hope you have learned this technique of changing the background so we'll see in the next video and create an amazing photo manipulation or heavy photo manipulation in our next lessons so today this this today just this one is you know this thing we have completed of you know changing the background so see you in the next video guys. Till then guys be creative and be awesome.